Hello, this is Matthew from Video Games of Dummies here, and I now have the snapshot 13W16A, and it's a little laggy with those settings. But oh well, we'll press forth because this is the kind of thing that Tesco's would love, because there are horses, and you, you know. Fuck you, Rain. I hate you! Shut the hell up, Rain! Oh, wait, what? Oh. Don't you zap me, Lightning! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up, yes! Yes! I think my bad jokes uh, cause it to rain. Yeah, I'm sorry for any low FPS. Um, it's a combination of recording and this being a slow snapshot for some reason. But it's an early development, so, you know, that's the whole point of snapshot. Anyway, so, here is a donkey. I thought I'd just put him here, because he's a donkey. First of all, I'm going to show you how to spawn, well, not how to spawn. How to tame a horse and all the things you could do with it and then all the other things that are in this thing. You can't go in the stables, cow. No. You're, you're not a horse. You can't be one of them. You're old school. Nobody cares about you anymore. Right. Shut up. Right. So we spawn a horse and it's a donkey. So that can die because the whole point was that I was going to have a horse because they are slightly different. I never get donkeys unless I don't want them. Yep, that is true. I really want to kill this. Urgh! If this is a donkey, I will yell penis at the top of my voice. Yay, it's a nice horse. Now, it's fully grown, so I can't, well, giving it food's not going to do anything. You just go near its head and you give it, like, give it apples and carrots and vegetables and wheat and hay. Ooh, what's hey? I'll get around to that. But basically, you feed them until they're fully grown, and then what you do is you just get on them, and eventually hearts will come out of them. I just saw one there. So now it loves me, and we're best of friends. What you can do is put a saddle on it, and it gives it this cool saddly look. And you can get on it and ride around, forgetting all the worries in the world, and well, having lag. It does actually jump up one block, and you can also jump. You'll see the stamina bar at the bottom. It's a timed thing. So, you hold down space to choose how far to jump it. As you can see, there's an orange bit. The orange bit is the highest jump. It goes quickly up there and slowly down from there on. So, um, if you time it right, you get an orange jump and you can jump really high. And apparently horses can actually jump up to like 13 blocks, uh, not 13 blocks, 4 blocks, which is good, I guess. So we're going to get off the horse now and I'll show you something else. It's left shift, you knew. Right. This is rope. You can't craft it yet. It's not even got a name. But it's a leash or a lead or whatever. You can take mobs with it. Horses you have to tame before you can carry them. But as you can see, it's following me around wherever I go. But you can like pick up cows and pigs and even chickens surprisingly with it. Um, I've tried villagers unfortunately you can't have slaves. Hopefully maybe I will fix that because well you know Minecraft's a game of slavery. And uh, yeah so you can do it. What are you doing XP? Wow. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So uh what was it? Oh yeah, the leash. So you can, yeah, you can carry mobs around on it, like animals. And uh, what's great is you can actually carry dogs as well. Um, so you can take dogs for a walk. I remember uh, having to do that with fishing rods before, and it wasn't really the best thing. But basically, you just uh, what you can do is you can, if you right click, once it's done. Well, once you've got the horse tied up, it ties up the horse to a fence post. You have to do it on the fence post, obviously. I explain that really badly. But yeah. 
And now the horse will stay in my stable, which I've got. It's very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. There's a couple of things I don't like about it, but, you know, it works. It's a big wooden thing. Actually, this cow is actually helpful because I can show you. You can do it to dogs and stuff. I can't bother to show that though. But, you know. He's yelling, no! You can be free now. Right. So, I'm going to show you some crafting recipes before I show you even more that you can do with this new snapshot. In here, we got some stuff. Horse saddle. I showed you that. You put it on horse so you can ride it. It's different to a normal uh, saddle. What you do is you make a helmet and you just, all along the bottom, you just put some iron. What the hell are you doing, cow? That's it. Oh, okay. That was easy. Uh, right. So yeah, you just line the bottom with iron ingots and it makes a horse saddle. Now, you can make horse armor and it is badass. Right, basically, make this curve shape with any of these materials, depending on the armor you want to make. Like uh, your iron, butter, and diamond. And you just place some wool in the middle. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter what kind of wool. It doesn't change anything. It's just wool. Um, it would be pretty cool if it changed what the armor looked like. Hint, hint, maybe I, hint, hint. Anyway, uh, and yeah, uh, that's that. Actually, you know, what I'll do is I'll show you what the armor looks like. Why have I got a normal saddle in my inventory? God knows. I've got, like, loads of leather from killing horses before this, uh, before I start recording. So now, what I can do is I can give my horse some armor. So that's iron armor. It looks pretty cool. It's got, like, a black and red and, um... Uh, iron coloured <laughs> colour scheme and it looks pretty awesome. It looks kinda like medieval and nice. And you got golden armor which is uh same kind of colour scheme but with gold. And the armor actually is shaped differently I think. Yeah. The armor actually looks completely different and I think that's awesome. Um this one looks more like a uh, Spartan kind of armor. I don't know if that's just because it looks like the armor from three hundred or something but this is Sparta! And, yeah, I just hit my horse, but he doesn't care. And, uh, this is diamond armor, which, uh, does it look different to gold? Yeah, it does, it does. They all look different. They all look very different. And, uh, yeah, it's diamond. And, uh, it's got a yellow saddle. And it just looks cool. Which one suits him? I'm gonna give him this one because I like medieval more, medieval knights more than Spartans. Now the one thing is you cannot. Oh crap! As I just showed, you cannot put armor on mules or donkeys because they're asses or asses. And yes, I just did make that pun. So basically, what's it useful for? Well, actually. They spawn just like horses, as, as you saw earlier, out of eggs. They spawn randomly in the world. I don't know if uh, horses actually spawn randomly in the world yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they will do. Uh, or maybe you'll find them in villages. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, uh, what they're useful for is, I'll show you uh, now. If I get a chest, I did actually put some in another chest, but I'll just, I'll just do this. Uh, because I don't want to reveal what's in that chest. Basically, you put chests on it and it gives it dead ass. Just, just look at that dead ass. I made a pun without realising after making the same pun. Uh, basically, you can't even ax... Uh, it, I guess that's for carrying things. You can't access the chests right now. Um, but it would be cool once it's done, because if you go travelling with like loads of stuff. Um, I mean, these are great for traveling, because one thing is, exploring can be annoying sometimes, because you have to spend days going if you want to go miles away. And then, like, you have to build, like, houses and stuff to stay in overnight if you don't want to risk your stuff. These make that a bit easier, you know? But yeah, um, I never really traveled that far anyway. Now, let's go to the middle chest and I'll show you some more crafting. Oh, wait, yeah. I'll show you this. Um, 
these are things that haven't got recipes yet. They're just there. You need to accept my video response on VG4. I'm recording right now, you new. What's up, faggots? Um, you need to accept my video response on yeah. VG4. Yeah. Subscribe to Pandora RS bits, they're better. There'll be an annotation on uh, the horse's face. For God's sake! It's alright. It's only my brother. He's cool. Anyway, so basically, where was I? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the haystack. This also isn't actually in. Wait. Sorry about this, guys. Basically, not actually got a crafting recipe or anything yet, which makes me have a feeling there's more to it. There's going to be something else that they haven't added yet, so they can't finish it. Hopefully. Um. No, you may not. Basically, it's a block. You can build with it. You can put it sideways as well. And make awesome looking things. I could see this being awesome for like uh, making like war maps where you're on a farm or like a zombie apocalypse. And just for making farmy stuff. And, you know. Eat horse! Eat! No, he doesn't care. You can actually feed it to the horses as well, I think. Or I'll just place it in front of the heads. I believe you can feed it to them. Right. For God's sake, did I really just make that mistake twice? So basically, in the next chest, oh uh, wait, I'll clear my inventory because uh, that's getting annoying. In the next chest, we have da, 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 place two wool of the same colour and then make carpet of the same colour. Um, can you mix wool up? We'll test that at the end. I don't think you can mix colours up, but you know, we can always test this. Man, imagine that. Like carpets of like m m millions of colours. Um, and this is just stuff I could use. Um, that was not needed. Uh, so basically, carpets just like. It doesn't change your height, I don't think. Okay, it does slightly, I'm not sure. But basically, you place it on top of blocks, and I really like it. I've, I've actually mean, I actually always thought they should add carpet because look at it, it's beautiful. I don't know how much you get from um, the two wool. I'm sure it's more than one, but it's great because before, if you wanted a carpet on a house, but it's a multi-story house and you don't want a carpet roof, you'd have to have like two blocks. And it was really annoying to build with. Oh no, you can just place this on top. And it looks good. It's awesome. So yeah, that's carpet. It's nothing amazing. Well, it is amazing. But it's nothing, like, revolutionary. So yeah, um... So I could have named these mobs. I don't even know how to do that yet. It's probably really simple. Wait, is it shift click? Nope, that's just going to hurt it. <laughs> Why shift click? Why? So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, the, uh, Betting W60 now. I was gonna give it a weird name, but. And, uh, this has been Matt from Videos with Dummies here. And, uh, let's test that wall. Great ending there. Right, we're gonna get some red wool, and we're gonna just gonna go into the creative menu and get some. That's like a Zuli, you know, light, light, light blue. It's a crafting table, and we're just gonna like put it. Like that. Aww. Let's make carpet. Oh, it only makes one. It only makes one. Really? I mean, it's gonna be really hard to fill your floor with carpet if there's like no sheep about. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, more than that. That's not fair. Oh well. As a grand finale, I shall get on my horse. So yeah, um, comment, rate, subscribe, and like, and all that stuff. Rage against my low FPS of this being an early snapshot and stuff. I mean, I was getting low FPSs with uh, the game capture program I was using. It works fine with Minecraft, uh, with other things, but. It lagged on Minecraft, but I changed a few settings and it works now. But um, 
it doesn't like this snapshot. <laughs> or the snapshot doesn't like it. I don't know. But anyway, it's watchable. And it's fine. And yeah, this isn't getting anywhere. So, uh, let's ride on. Um, F5. <laughs> let's go to the mountains of old where Minecraft was just a few stone and dirt blocks. Let's go to the mountains of old. To Alpha and Omega and before villagers when people dreamed of villagers being good for trading before redstone what the hell am I doing? anyway, goodbye <laughs>